Hello. Uh, as you know already, my name is Jan Zygmunt. I'm a second year master's classical composer. And I wanted to tell you a thing or two about uh, music of mine and on what's the origin of it. How do I choose my musical material and why is it the way it is? <clears throat> so today I'm going to be presenting, as I told you, two cycles. Um, and one is for solo piano. It's called Physics. And it's based on uh, reflecting selected physical phenomena with the usage of music. The piece I just placed is I played is called Refraction. Um, the second cycle I worked on uh, in my artistic research this year and the last year is called Census. And it's a suite for solo cello that's based on describing all of the senses I have on the basis of external medical material. The device I used to obtain the material is called an EEG an electroencephalogram. And electroencephalogram is a device that, <clears throat> uh, that monitors the bioelectricity in your brain. So, shortly speaking, um, neurons in your brain communicate with very, very small voltages of electricity. And electroencephalogram is a device that monitors this bioelectricity. I'm going to show you a over here, you can see a test of mine that I carried on, on myself, in a hospital. And over here, you can see the waves of a person that's not really thinking about anything. <laughs> uh, so this is, wh this is what it looks like when you're very calm, and this is what an actual test with an electroencephalogram should look like. You can see the wave's density is not so high, and you can see I'm relatively calm. But what happens when I'm listening to music with the EEG on? This is what happens when I listen to music. So you can see that the change of that is tremendous. Um, because I'm deeply thinking about music that I'm analyzing currently with my brain. Right? So I got this, and I thought to myself, OK, it's about time to make music on this, because it's a very interesting phenomenon. So I had to translate it into music. And in order to translate it, I created a grid. This is a grid that I used for my translation. Um, not in all of the pieces, because each of the pieces from the census cycle is based on different uh, way of translation of the medical material. But this is the one I used in the piece I'm going to present now, which is called Hearing. You can see that there is a couple of columns. And horizontally, it's time. So in the first row, um, I determined the pitches of my piece. The pitches are not random. Um, so they're a harmonic acoustic spectrum of the D string of my cello. So cello is an instrument that's uh, very well known for its very specific tenor uh, register. It's one of the most beautiful instruments in that particular register, uh, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, so I took the harmonic series of the D string, which I use a lot in my piece. Um, and because I used it, it allows me to very frequently use harmonics. And it allowed me to ma maintain, the, maintain the flexibility of performing. Um, for example, green line is the types of waves I use. So there are certain types of waves in the EEG, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and so on. I only chose three. Um, and they're responsible for how deeply thinking you are. Whether, so alpha, for example, are when you're relaxed. Beta is when you're thinking about something. And gamma are when you're very deeply analyzing something. So you have severe mental stress. And those uh, kind of waves, for example, uh, determine the articulation I use. So every element of my piece is determined by the EEG. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut the other and I'm going to let my... Ah, by the way, uh, music I was listening to uh, when I was uh, plugged into the EEG was Ligeti's uh, Piano Etude. So, um, I'm going to cut the other and let my brain sing.
Yeah, so this was something about my brain. It's a bit baroque uh, <laughs> in a sense, right? The second cycle I wrote uh, is one for the piano solo. It's also sometimes for prepared piano solo. It's based on describing the physical phenomena I chose. Um, first one, the first piece I presented today uh, was the one coming from that cycle. There's eight pieces over there. Um, right now, I'm gonna present two of the pieces of that cycle on the piano. Um, first one is gonna be called Entropy. Um, and second one, uh, yeah, and Entropy is divided on two parts. First one is Entropy, second one is Inertness. It's also a physical phenomena. Um, next one I'm going to present after the entropy is going to be time. And after that, a lovely pianist is going to join me, and we're going we're to uh, show you another piece of mine, which is called Breath.
Thank you. Um, so what I would like to show you right now is a piece which is called Breath. Um, breath is a combination of senses of smell and taste, because those are both of the senses that occur when you're breathing. And um, the piece I'm going to be presenting to you right now is based on different types of breath, breath we can have, usually disorders. So um, right now we're going to go through, through regular breath, regular breath, apnea, um, which is a sleeping disorder, um, and a couple of other ones for hyperventilation and for some other types of breath. I hope you recognize them from the score.
last two things I'm gonna do in our today's meeting is now you're gonna see an animation on which I worked uh, in a couple of last weeks. Um, I made a soundtrack for it and I worked with a dear friend of mine, a Polish sound engineer from Warsaw, Daria Byszko. That. So we did the audio for this animation together with her. Um, and the last thing I'm gonna present today is gonna be the uh, last piece of my census cycle, which is called Touch. And Touch is primarily gonna be about love, because, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and over there, in the Touch piece, you can look for dialogues between two people and for the good and the bad moments. Yes, so I invite you to see the animation first and then I'm gonna present the last piece.
Thank you. 